Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is <clears throat> today is Friday. Today is Friday. It is September twenty third, and we are in the twenty we are in the twenty fifth week of ordinary time. Today we celebrate um, the memorial feast day of Saint um, Saint Pio Petrolcina, um, Padre Pio. And so, friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness fails me never. I nothing lack if I am his. And he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, Ma to rest, my soul he leads me. Where fresh and fertile pastures grow, with heavenly food he feeds me. O Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice all offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness and your compassion. Blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that, in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without pity, or excuse me, they are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in counsel together, who announced this from the beginning, and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just <clears throat> saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With joy and gladness we cry out to you, Lord, and ask you, open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchman to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchman to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchman to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchman to guard you. 
What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of Shepherd of Souls. Direct us always through their leaders. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. Nourish your people, Lord. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your people, Lord. Gathering these prayers and praises into one, as we remember and call to mind our own intentions, remembering now all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, we lift up our voices now, praying those sacred words of Jesus himself, and together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty ever living God, who by a singular gate who by a singular grace gave the priest Saint P Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us joining together each morning, praying this, the prayer of the church, praying with the church, but praying through the church in behalf, and on behalf of all of her members. And how good it is too then for you and I, this little group of prayer warriors, joining together and promising to pray with, to pray for one another throughout this day so that whatever you face, you do not face alone. Whatever I face, I do not face alone because we have each other praying for us. Um, as I've mentioned before, I do have a couple special intentions. Um, if you could keep those uh, close to your heart, if you could uh, um, offer some prayers to the Lord for those intentions, I certainly would appreciate it. Um, yeah, brothers and sisters, uh, celebrate today. Uh, it is the memorial feast of uh, Padre Pio. Um, 
Pius of Petrolcina, um, and what an incredible saint uh, for us to be able to celebrate today. So, friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.